What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management channel. My name is Andre and today I'm gonna be doing analysis uh, on Pepe Coin. And in today's video, first of all, I will show you where we are on a price chart and how we get there. Then we'll continue with the fundamental news uh, that uh, might be the catalyst of this asset. And at the end of this video, I will share my thoughts and my technical analysis. And I will show you what should we expect next. So let's start with the price chart. As you can see, this asset uh, is quite new asset. Uh, the very beginning of trading on BitGet Exchange uh, is at uh, the very end of April. April 19th, 2023. And since uh, this uh, beginning, it gained about 2,773% uh, in this uh, quite harsh movement to the upside. And uh, I have to say that uh, we have uh, several waves, we have several formed uh, waves that uh, is uh, very, very healthy, in my opinion, according to Elliott wave theory. And in my technical analysis, I will show you what should we expect next. But for now, let's start with uh, some fundamentals. First of all, let me show you that uh, the market is pretty much flat. We don't have uh, major changes on uh, seven days period, uh, one hour and 24 hours for the top uh, coins, as you can see, just uh, uh, slight movements uh, either way. But uh, right here on trending section, we can find uh, Pepe, Pepe coin. And uh, let me show you that uh, it gained during the last uh, 30 days, 4,525%. Seven days uh, is also in green for 379.92%. And only 24 hours period uh, is in red, 7.85% uh, uh, below its previous price. So let me show you that uh, this asset is also very popular among the retail community, for example, on StockTweets.com website. You can find it on the watcher section in the first place. You can find it uh, on the most active uh, section on the fourth place and on trending section on the second place. This means it has a lot of support uh, from uh, retail uh, community. And this means it is uh, some kind of uh, meme coin, in my opinion, and uh, I will prove my words in just several minutes. So we are on Pepe top folder on CoinMarketCap uh, website and you can see that uh, the total market cap for this coin is uh, slightly above 1 billion dollars. Quite high number I have to say and it is lower than it was previously by 9 point almost 10%. And the volume during the last 24 hours fell for 58.1% and right now it is uh, 1.244 billion dollars. So, as you can see, the price uh, has uh, several uh, zeros uh, before the real price. This means uh, the uh, supply is more than uh, 420 uh, wait a second, trillion uh, coins. And it is quite obvious for this uh, type of uh, mean coins. And uh, let me show you some details. If we take a look uh, right here, we will have, uh, we'll see their official website. And let me show you just some uh, clarification uh, in uh, CoinMarketCap website. What is uh, Pepe? Pepe is a deflationary meme coin launched on Ethereum. The cryptocurrency was created as a tribute to the Pepe Frog uh, internet meme created by Matt Furry, which gained popularity in the early 2000s. So let's uh, take a look on their official uh, website. And uh, yes, it was made uh, as in a uh, uh, color scheme of uh, this frog. And uh, uh, you can see how you can buy this uh, coin. You can see the tokenomics. I don't want to dive deeper into these details because you can do it by yourself and uh, I won't just pay your attention on the, this uh, roadmap. So uh, they have three phases. Phase one is just pure meme, phase two vibe and hodl and phase three meme takeover. And uh, here is the explanation and I have to say that uh, fundamentally it is uh, no nothing else but just a meme coin. That's why it has a huge volatility and a very harsh price action. So, let's continue with the technical analysis, but before we dive deep right here, please subscribe to my channel, hit notification bell and hit the like button. This helps me a lot. So guys, let me show you that uh, from its swing low, from this uh, point on uh, uh, April 27th, it gained to its first uh, uh, peak of about 662% and to its second one, more than 2,223%. And from this swing low, it gained uh, uh, about 423% and right now it is uh, in downtrend uh, and it lost uh, 48, roughly half of its movement to the upside and uh, uh, it uh, has a slight uh, pullback uh, to the upside and right now 
you can see that it lost only 42.39% uh, from its all-time high. So, what uh, should we expect next? First of all, let's uh, do some measurements and let's do some counts. Uh, if uh, it is uh, the case uh, from uh, this bottom, from this swing low, without this uh, bottom, and we can also have uh, this uh, in play, potentially we might have uh, this in play. So, we have, uh, this is our first wave, this is our second, this is our third, probably because it has the highest volume. We are about to see the bottom of the fourth wave, and if uh, this assumption is correct, we have to see another leg to the upside to hit some higher targets. But we also have another possibility. Let me show you uh, from this uh, standpoint. Uh, from uh, the very bottom, let me show you right here. We have, uh, this is our first wave. Uh, somewhere here might be the second. This is the third, fourth and extension in the fifth wave. And in this case, we have to see the retracement for the entire movement to the upside. And right after that, with the support of retail community, we might see another spike in its price. And what uh, should we do? I have to say that for now, let's uh, take a look on some indicators. Uh, this asset uh, doesn't have enough uh, information to see. Uh, it uh, has uh, quite a decent movement to the upside, but uh, the length of its price section is uh, not uh, so good. That's why we have basically a lack of information from the technical standpoint. But nevertheless, most likely we have uh, uh, two waves out of five. And let's uh, do again some projections. First of all, let's do some measurements uh, on the uh, relationships in between this wave and uh, third wave. It is the first, second, third. So as you can see, it hit, uh, it perfectly hit an extension of 2.618 and had a very good reaction. On top of that, it had a reaction from this range previously uh, in just uh, a couple of days ago. And uh, right now we have, uh, I have to say that uh, probably we are about to see at least a bounce to the upside in order to unload this structure, in order to unload the uh, movement uh, from its swing high to this swing low. But let's do another measurement and let's take a look at uh, which uh, level it hit uh, from this uh, swing uh, low. Uh, for this case, I pull the Fibonacci retracement tool from the low or from this swing low to this all-time high. And what do we have? So uh, we didn't uh, we didn't hit uh, the range of uh, support from Golden Pocket level, as you can see. And uh, let's uh, take a look on this price action. So. The most concerning part uh, is uh, right here. Uh, if it is the first wave, second, third, fourth and fifth wave, uh, this uh, breakdown violates uh, main Elliott wave theory rule that uh, this asset, uh, the uh, third wave cannot be the shortest one. This means uh, something wrong in, in this count and that's why I have uh, some doubts about the levels. So what should we expect next? <laughs> I have to say that we have to use another, another tool probably uh, let's uh, connect uh, several tops from uh, the body to body and uh, here as you can see probably we have uh, this as the range of resistance does it uh, look like a channel oh probably yes but we already broke uh, this uh, range uh, this uh, range of uh, resistance to the upside without the confirmation volume it just uh, went out uh, sideways and I also have a lot of doubts that uh, this might be the case because uh, uh, it's very difficult to assume which type of price action we might have. So let's uh, just use uh, the uh, this tool as uh, the tool from Algo Trades, and Algo Trades use it just a swing high, swing low, and 50% uh, probability all the way down to golden pocket range in order to have uh, uh, in order to add to the position. And in this case, uh, right here, this uh, quite decent uh, uh, level where we might have a next movement to the upside. But uh, the subdivision of this movement to the uh, downside doesn't uh, have for the completed structure. This means uh, we have to see uh, potentially another leg to the downside. But uh, as you can see, this movement, uh, this asset has quite high volatility. And because of this, we have uh, at least... Uh, 11% to this uh, previous swing low and uh, this might be the range of uh, your stop losses and I have to say that uh, this type of uh, assets are extremely risky and uh, if you want to benefit from its price action do not uh, use uh, the amount of money that you are not willing to lose it is extremely important 
because uh, eventually these type of meme stocks uh, have uh, quite a uh, low cap and uh, right after this spike in its price and right after the end of uh, the hype it uh, should go lower and uh, that is how a lot of people might lose uh, their money that's why you must have stop losses but the ranges where we might uh, land uh, might be quite different first of all it is this previous swing low but if uh, this assumption is correct we have to land and we have to have uh, the uh, highest reaction from the golden pocket range and in this case uh, just accumulate on the downside but uh, keep in mind that it is not a financial advice and uh, keep in mind that uh, you might lose the entire amount of your money and this implies about uh, uh for 17 percent of downside potential because you have to put your stop loss slightly below this bottom and the upside potential at least uh, to break uh, this uh, previous swing high is about 74 percent and depending on your average uh, price it might be up to 100 percent so definitely it is not the best one the best uh, uh, asset uh, that uh, you might enter your position but uh, definitely it is possible and uh, you just uh, have to know the risks uh, that are involved uh, in the process of buying this asset. So I think uh, from the technical standpoint that's it for now. If you like my video please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel with notification bell. And see you guys and girls next time. Bye. I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack Born a rock star in this life, gone live it up on the attack Baby, I'm bad, I just wanna get caught up in this life I'm crazy, I'm bad, doing no cap, only God wants you